Hello, my name is Jordan Vidala. I work for TNT Max, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up an email account in Outlook uh, 2003 on Windows XP using a POP3 server. So what I want you to do is go down to the Start menu, click on that, and find the Control Panel, and open that. And once you have that open, I'm going to show you how to set up the rest of this. So here's the Control Panel. You're going to want to double-click on the Mail icon. Once you have that open, you're going to want to click Add, and you're going to want to type in the name and profile you want. I'm going to use Test for the tutorial purpose. Then it's going to ask you what kind of email account you want to do. You want to hit Add New Email Account, hit Next, select POP3 from the server list, and now you're going to want to put in your name. I'm just going to put in Test, then your email address. Hmm. And then for your incoming mail server, it's going to be maxmail.yourdomain. So whatever your domain is, ours is TNT Max. And then the incoming mail server is going to be the exact same. Uh, the outgoing mail server, sorry, is going to be the exact same thing. And then your username is going to be your full email address. And then you're going to want to put in your password and click on more settings. Um, you're going to want to put in your email address under organization. And then under reply email, you're also going to put in your email address. Uh, now click the outgoing server tab, and you're going to want to select my outgoing server requires authentication. And leave the rest alone. And now you're going to go to the advanced tab and you're going to select the server requires an encrypted connection for the incoming POP3 server that will change the port and then the outgoing server port you want to be 8025 and then for delivery you're going to want to leave a copy the messages on the server for 90 days is what we recommend and also remove from the server when deleted from the delete items folder and then click OK now you're going to click test account settings to make sure you have a pure connection and everything went through and it also sent a test email message to your email and now click close and then hit next and then finish and now you have your profile with your email account and everything and when you open up Outlook you'll be able to see that test email that you got and now people will be able to send you emails so I hope this tutorial works for you and have a nice day